what's up you guys this video is going to be addressing some frequently asked questions some FAQ about doctor of physical therapy school y'all are loaded with individual questions so keep them comments flowing and I'll be flowing with my dancing baby Ooh, check this out Ooh, here's the way whoa 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 guys I can't stop once I start I can't stop baby you keep them comments flowing and I keep them dancing otherwise I'm gonna have to ah, restrain myself please continue to reach out and comment on those questions I was always the one in class asking questions to all my professors bless those professors hearts I was so annoying so if you're one of those students that raises their hand in class to ask questions then go ahead as you're watching this video use that hand to go ahead and press that subscribe button and then with the other four fingers go ahead and press that notification bell like comment and share button baby what's up you guys my name is justin lee doctor of physical therapy student and fitness coach here you'll find videos on fitness physical therapy and lifestyle that helps inspire self change this channel is all about lifting others and lifting weights so let's lift for change people if any of this resonates with you those five fingers like comment share subscribe notification bell baby oh, oh yeah so I've been finding some commonalities among some of the comments and questions that you guys have been asking so I figured I might as well make a video on some frequently asked questions I want to make this video super convenient for you guys so in the description below I have timestamps I also have relevant videos that you guys might be interested in for physical therapy school so feel free to scroll and look at the description or watch till the end of this video throughout this video if you have any follow-up questions go ahead and use those thumbs to comment below and ask away and if you have any friends who are very interested in the field of physical therapy or physical therapy school use that pinky to share with your friends all right all right let's get it popping some frequently asked questions about doctor of physical therapy did someone say popping ah Sorry, just, I'll keep it down, just vlogging, my bad. He's done, he's done, he's done, he's done. All right, here's the first question. How to become a physical therapist. A doctor of physical therapy degree is required to become a physical therapist as of 2016. But this DPT or doctorate of physical therapy degree is an entry level degree, meaning you do not have to go into doing a master's and then go into your doctorate. You just have to have your undergraduate degree and all those prerequisites and all the other stuff, right, that you need. And then you can apply for doctorate of physical therapy school. Once you pass the whole curriculum of your DPT program, you need to get a licensure and then you are a physical therapist. If you want to learn what else is required for DPT school, I have a video of that in the description below. And if you want to know how to get into DPT school the fastest way possible, I of course have another video and that's in the description below. Check this out, side note, most physical therapy programs have prerequisites that expire after seven years meaning if you took like that anatomy or biology class for uh, more than seven years ago then you probably have to retake that course but just to double check I would go ahead and call your uh, whatever program that you're interested in and then ask them hey does their do you, your prerequisites expire after seven years or can it be like nine years uh, since I've taken it and will that still be okay all right second question can you start practicing as a physical therapist right after you graduate a DPT program? Like I stated before, you actually cannot practice as a physical therapist until you pass your licensing exam. 
Now, when you're looking into applying for a program, a good question to ask, or maybe when you're interviewing and they say, hey, do you have any questions for us? A good question to ask is, what is your pass rate? Because certain programs have good pass rates and some of them don't. And obviously, <laughs> you wanna pass. So if you're looking that up online, something to look for is at least a 95% or greater pass rate for the licensing exam. All right, question three. What to expect from a physical therapy school program? Obviously, academics are gonna be a huge part of a doctorate program. And of course, it's gonna be more rigorous than an undergrad. And I made a video about that before. So like study habit changes from undergrad to doctorate. Again, it's in the link below, but um, academics is going to be rigorous, but students actually have found that they have more time than they think. Like there are a lot of students and it's super common to be involved with extracurriculars, fun activities, weekends being free, some students work part time, some students, it's not uncommon for marriages to happen throughout the program. And I'm sure if you follow some students who are in the program now, like they got married or they're having fun. So if you're going into school thinking like, whoa, I'm gonna have no life, like that's what I thought, you actually will have a life and you're gonna have a lot of fun with it. And you're gonna make a lot of friends too. Along with academics, in an entry-level doctor program, they're also gonna teach you to be skilled in every single aspect of physical therapy. So inpatient, outpatient, ortho, neuro, peds, cardiovascular, cardio palm, um, all of that stuff, besides like the special niches like uh, women's health, uh, like sports, like some schools might have more emphasis on that area, but generally all entry level programs will have you prepared to go into the field and say, hey, I can go and work that job. As long as it's like a common job or it's not like a super specialty like I mentioned before, like women's health or anything, then you should be good to go. All right, last question. Is research required for a DPT program? Well, since it is a doctorate program, you most likely are gonna have to participate in some sort of research project, study, or anything like that. So some programs go all out and they do a whole research study, and some other programs do like a capstone or a research project or case studies, but every, mostly from up, up to, at least up to my knowledge, most doctorate programs will have you participate in some sort of research where you have to do some academic literature reviews um, and, and uh, have some kind of research-based paper at least by the end of the program or anything like that. All right, and last question. <laughs> There's no more. This is the end of the video. All right, you guys, thank you for watching this video about some frequently asked questions about Doctor of Physical Therapy School. And if you're one of those people that raises their hands and says, hey, I'm asking those questions, you continue to ask those questions and be responsible for yourself. And then while you're pointing that finger, go ahead and press that subscribe button. Thank you everyone for sub, uh, supporting, not subscribing, for supporting. And uh, I really hope that this video has inspired some self change for all of y'all. And I hope you guys stay motivated. Have a great one, you guys. Change people, change people. That's why we live for change people. <laughs>